The second half. Uh, yes, definitely. Um, this past weekend, uh, week before the game, you know, we're working hard on offense, and you know, we know we have you know more stuff to work on, but just from us getting better from you know the Iowa State and the Texas game to this Oklahoma State game was an improvement. So, you know, today and the next couple of days, we'll try to improve even more before the game. I know after the game, you mentioned that you kind of told your teammates that you wanted to be that kind of a role model, so to speak, kind of going, coming into it, set the tempo, set the pace. What did you do in practice or I guess in the game that kind of made sure that you kind of echoed those thoughts? I just kept telling myself, you know, be aggressive w uh, with whatever I do. Just be aggressive and, you know, make plays for everybody. And then in terms of Jared, I guess, what did you see from him? I know Coach always talks about how talented he was, but I guess uh, do you kind of see a different kind of mental mode once Big 12 started? Uh, yes, I did, um, especially, um, you know, since Zach's been out, um, you know, he stepped up. You know, we, I, I told him that, you know, we needed you to step up. You know, Coach has been on him that we're not treating him like a freshman. We say he's not a freshman anymore. You know, it's no, no more of that, so we need you to play a bigger role. And, you know, he's, he stepped up to the challenge. Go to Jeff in the middle. Ken, this is now your fourth Big 12 SEC Challenge. What's the this, I don't call it a tournament, but this matchup mean for you? Uh, this is a big matchup for me just because, you know, they were Final Four team last year. It's on the road, and, you know, I really want to get another road win. And just from seeing, you know, like um, the Big 12 and the SEC compared, you know, how strong they are, you know, I just really want us to come out on top in our, in our game. We'll go to Adam in the back. Yeah. Keenan, with some of the slow starts, how do you balance wanting to be aggressive but not, not pressing too early? Uh, just, you know, knowing that you have to be patient with certain stuff, but just make, make people uncomfortable and also just, you know, just staying solid with certain things. Any other questions for Keenan before we let him go? We'll go back to Carlos. You know, prior to playing against Florida, uh, South Carolina wasn't known as a good shooting team, but they obviously showed that they could with the 11 three-pointers. I guess what are you guys kind of looking forward to when you do play against them? Uh, we're looking for, you know, a pretty much overall game, whether it be shooting threes and then um, them having, you know, great big man. So we're just really just going to try to lock down on, you know, making them drive. And when it comes to them throwing it in the paint, just making them uncomfortable as much as we can. We're excited for the next opportunity on the schedule, uh, which is a home game against South Carolina. Uh, Frank Martin's one of the best coaches in college basketball. He's got really good players. They made the Final Four last year and returned several key players, including both their bigs from that team. Uh, we're proud to represent the Big 12 uh, in the Big 12 SEC Challenge. And so uh, we're just looking forward to the opportunity. We know we'll have to play really well, probably our best 40 minutes of basketball this season to have a chance in this game. Uh, but we're we're looking forward to the opportunity. Yeah, yeah I talked to Coach Martin this morning, and uh, both of us kind of shared the view that we weren't enjoying playing against each other. Um, but it's a, it's a great game for college basketball. I think everybody in the Big 12 and SEC appreciates this platform. Uh, the timing's not great for either of us because we're in the middle of our conference grind. But um, I think it's just good for college basketball. So. Um, my friendship with Frank is um, well documented, but simply stated, he's like one of the realest guys I've ever met. You know, like I used to have a lot of friends when I coached here for Coach Knight and Pat. And when I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, you know, the phone doesn't ring quite as much. Uh, but Frank never stopped checking on me. I mean, the guys texted me consistently in our friendship, whether I'm at McMurray or in South Carolina, or if we're at Texas Tech, winning a top 10 matchup. So he's just a real guy. He's also always supported basketball. You know, he's never forgot where he came from. He's a high school coach at heart. He's a teacher. Um, he always sticks up for the little guys. And I take that role. You know, I'm proud to be a former junior college coach. I wouldn't change my path or anything. And Frank feels the same way coming from uh, the high school ranks. And so he's just somebody I have the ultimate respect for. He's never changed. Frank's the same guy today that he was before he went to the Final Four, uh, which is pretty cool. In terms of uh, the the matchup, obviously a road matchup. I know sometimes when you kind of do these things, it may kind of lo lower the uh, lower the competition, I guess, for lack of a better term. But how nice is it to know that even though you have the grind of the Big 12, you still have another game that's going to kind of prepare you for another Big 12 matchup? Yeah, to us, it's just like the Big 12. I mean, let's talk about South Carolina. They're a definite NCAA tournament team. They've won three out of their last four games in the SEC, four out of their last six. Just like all of Coach Martin's teams are getting better as the year goes on. They have an NBA 
uh, prospect, uh, big guy. Their guard play has been really great. Last night they hit with 11 three pointers and a road win at Florida, who's uh, you know basically a Sweet 16 team on paper, I think. Um, so this is just a great opportunity for us. Uh, this is what playing in the Big 12 is all about. You know, every night's a grind. Can't get too high. Can't get too low. You've got to uh, just try to play good basketball every day in practice, and hope that that translates to the game. So um, I'm glad we're having a chance to play on the road. Um, we're looking forward to the opportunity to, to try to play good basketball. We'll go to Jeff in the middle. Coach, I realize that some of this is out of your control, but where would you put the Big 12 SEC Challenge if you could, in a dream world, put it wherever you wanted to in the schedule? That's a good question. I think, uh, you know, obviously uh, before conference play, uh, it would be great to have this type of marquee game for our fans uh, in Lubbock when we have the home game. Uh, but but it makes sense. Uh, uh, when I was sitting in the Big 12 coaches' meetings, um, do a lot of listening. You know, you, you don't talk much when you're in the same room as Coach Self and Coach Huggins and Coach Kruger and all these guys. So I do a lot of listening. Um, but ESPN came in and they presented the – the, uh, the situation, this is a great weekend for sports. Obviously, the Super Bowl is not this weekend. It's kind of the biggest thing going on in sports right now, and I think um, they'll, they'll, they'll publicize it. You know, obviously, you got the West Virginia-Kentucky um, game uh, is in prime time, but we're looking forward to playing a national televised game against, again, what I think is a deadlock NCAA tournament team, uh, a team that's really, really good. He has a struggle offensively on the road, but your last – 12 minutes of basketball was really firing on all eight cylinders. How do you take that 12 minutes on the road? What are you doing to try to get that turned around this week? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, to say we've struggled offensively or defensively, I, you know, I kind of ask for your definition of struggle. You know, in a lot of these games, we're, we're making good percentage of our shots, but we're turning the ball over too much. And then on nights where we're not turning the ball over, maybe we're not shooting as well. So, um, what I'd like to do is, you know, is just get back to playing aggressive, uh, playing through turnovers, playing through nights where you're not making shots, but just uh, trying to be more aggressive. And I think for the second half of our last game, you got to give us credit uh, that we were the most aggressive team the last 15 minutes of that game. We got to figure out a way to get to the free throw line, not only against South Carolina, but for the rest of the season. That's a big part of our our identity, as is every other team. You know, there's nobody in college basketball that doesn't want to get to the free throw line. So, um, but low turnover getting to the free throw line, being aggressive, getting our best players shots where they want to shoot and can shoot um, is going to be a big key, not not just Saturday, but for the rest of the season. We'll head to the back. And, Coach, we're pretty deep in a you know, conference play now. You've had like a few letdowns, a lot of big wins. Is this team where, at this point in the season, you want them to be and continuing to grow? What do, what do you think where they sit right now overall? Yeah, no coach uh, is ever satisfied. Definitely not where I want to be. Um, but I, I like our – I like our approach. I like where our players are mentally. I like the fact that we're still in the gym shooting and we're staying true to the process already today. A lot of guys in the film room getting shots up. So um, I like where our team is mentally. I like where our team is, the unselfishness. Um, but obviously, we just got to continue to play better basketball. Every team in the country right now is a work in progress. Um, nobody is satisfied with their plan. You're just trying to, trying to just continue to improve and win enough games along the way where you can be relative in March. We'll go back to Carlos in the front. Myers for uh, South Carolina, 15. He had five of the 11 threes, and that was five of the 18 he shot. I guess how have you kind of seen him either progress if you've seen a, a little bit more than maybe a, a couple games of game film on him? Yeah, he's playing really confident uh, and, and really good as of late. And uh, Coach Martin's commented on him and his desire to win and his leadership as of late. So uh, statistics in college basketball are always interesting. You know, you look at the full body of work. Then you look at conference, something that I've always studied is the last three or four games. Um, and so I think he's one of the hottest players in the country right now. I know they don't necessarily have the, the multiple guys in double figures like you always see, but it seems like anyone can kind of step in. Is that kind of what you're seeing from them, at least from the game film? Yeah, another one of Coach Martin's good teams, you know, where uh, balance is valued, the ability to play inside and out, a great defensive team. Um, and I think I think you got to be real careful saying that they're not a team that can shoot. Last night, pretty much uh, answered the critics on that. I think they've got a lot of good shooters on the team, uh, including some big guys that can step out and shoot it. So we got our hands full. You know, we're playing against a team that's well coached. Final Four last year, great players on their home floor, in a big uh, national television game. So uh, to me, more than anything, it's an opportunity.